Okay, so um, anxiousness and uh, resentment about work and how to, um, how to clear that. Um, okay, so if there is uh, anxiousness and resentment about work, uh, the main ways I deal with that, well, if I'm, you know, like the week starting, let's say on Monday and I'm feeling anxious and uh, resentful, is one of the things to do is just to um, sometimes take time out to sit with the feelings of anxiousness and resentment um, and try not to make go into the thoughts around it, not to label it, do the feel the feelings um, and just, you know, is, is the anxiousness in the abdomen or is the resentment in the head, is there anger in the head or wherever it is, don't make a story, don't identify with the thoughts and just um, feel them out and just try and feel it out till you get to a state of peace or as near a peace, a state, peaceful state as you can. Each time you sit with the resentment, the anger or the fear um, and get to a state of peace, you'll then start to find um, that you'll see the situation differently, you feel much more relaxed and it's not such a big deal. So just as you feel those deep uh, feelings out, uh, your consciousness level will rise and you'll start to feel much more positive. And even when you go into work, uh, because you've resolved a lot of the uh, unconscious fear and anger, you'll have, um, you will be uh, feeling much more positive and at a higher vibration going through work. Also, usually uh, fear, one of the things for me is letting go of outcomes. Uh, the, there's a lot of resentment or there can be a lot of fear around work because you feel you need the work for your survival. So just being able to let go of the worst case scenario. The worst case scenario, like for me, would be like, well, if I don't perform well, my boss will say, you're terrible, you're fired. And I'll have the fear of like not having enough money or whatever it is. So uh, I will just, uh, you know, place my fear of being fired, or whatever the worst outcome is for you, uh, with the idea of transcending the worst possible outcome so that it doesn't mean anything to me. So if I place um, my fear that I'll be fired into God's infinite light and love and pray for miracles and transcendence, pray for a miracle to see um, losing my job differently, and if I can keep praying or cancelling, I cancel my belief, I need my, jo I need my job, I'm an infinite being, and I just uh, sit through that fear and cancel it, and until I feel like I'm in a position of neutrality, whatever, whether I keep the job or not, or neutrality around the worst possible outcome, then it's like, well, it doesn't really matter because you start to feel very positive. Like, oh yeah, of course. Um, like when I'm in fear, I think if I lose that job, I'll never get another job and I'll die. But when I feel the fear out, I feel like, well, I'll just get another job. It's not a big deal. There's thousands of jobs, it's a limitless universe. Uh, God's taking care of me. Um, I'm sure there'll be resource, resources everywhere that will take care of me. So letting go of the worst possible outcome will deal with the fear. Usually anger for me around work is um, I don't like people or I don't like or I'm angry at certain aspects of the work. So just uh, uh, clearing it, praying for a miracle or placing, I place my anger at my boss uh, into God's infinite light and love, I pray for miracles, I cancel the power, the control that my boss exerts over me. I'm an infinite being subject only to what I hold in mind. Um, I cancel my need to be perfect at work. I'm an infinite being subject only to what I hold in mind. I cancel my a resentment against myself around work. I'm an infinite being. So doing all of that, doing the feel the feelings. Um, if you can do the, also practice the observer um, and uh, when it feels intuitively appropriate. So if I'm feeling anxious and resentful, I'm in my head and I'm feeling fear, what's observing the thoughts of resentment and anxiousness? Is the observer of the anxiousness and the thoughts anxious or thinking, you know? Does the observer suffer from anxiousness? Um, if there is um, thoughts around work, well, is the can you be the detached observer of those thoughts? So do, is the observer affected by the coming week? Practicing the observer at home uh, with family or friends in easy situations. Um, also at work, if you're able to practice the observer, if at work uh, things are getting tough, um, taking breaks to just uh, do spiritual practice 
and, and boost your vibration as regularly as you can. If you're getting hooked into the fear, feeling the fear out, or if you're getting angry at somebody, um, uh, placing them into God's infinite light and love and placing your anger into God's infinite light and love will just help you get back into those higher vibrations and see work differently and be in, in more of a flow state around work. Um, also, see what are the what are the is, are there deeper lessons? Uh, you know, pray to the pray to God uh, for the meaning of your karma around work to be revealed to you. Why is it that um, so you'll start to get intuitions as what's the lesson you need to learn in why you're so uh, unhappy with, or dissatisfied with the type of work you're doing. Uh, does it mean that something needs to change? Can you get uh, intuitive guidance or guidance from a mentor around what needs to change? Is it a shift in perception? Is it a change in job? Is it how you see the job? Are there deep um, karmic uh, ramifications going on with individuals at the work? Is it um, a controlling boss? Is it really this work is bringing up the controlling boss issue that you need to really... Uh, find out what beliefs you need to cancel or uh, whatever or see the work from a different angle from a more spiritualized angle so that you can be in great to feel like you're this is an opportunity to be of service and not be in the story around it um, so uh, just wishing miracles to you and to everyone around uh, work so I'm just going to